sunnah Allah, we have that yeah, greed in us. That means we are people who are always not syukur. Now what is syukur here? Allah said, La in shakartum la azidan. If you are thankful to whatever Allah has given you, Allah is going to add more blessing upon what He has given you. Not only what He has given, He will bless whatever He has given you. And this is where we are lacking. This is where most of the Muslims forget. They want more, but they forget about the blessing. Now, if you have little, if there's blessing, that little will stay with you. If you have more, but you are not shukur, the more also will make you stress and make you worry. Now, Allah has reminded us, la in shakartum la azidanakum. If you are thankful to me, whatever I have given you, I will bless and I will add more blessing towards what I've given you. And this is more important. More property without blessing and property with blessing, property with blessing is always better. This is what lacking among the ummah. We forget about Allah's blessing. We only ask one, I want more and more and more. If you have more money, you have more problem. But if you have the blessing with Allah, the more money will not develop more problem. In the same time, وَلَا إِنْ كَفَرْتُمْ إِنَّ أَزَّابِ لَا شَدِيدٍ You see what Allah said? If you are not thankful to Allah, if you are not thankful to the ni'mah that Allah has given you, you just wait. I'm going to take it back bit by bit. And Allah has proved it to us. Those who are not thankful to Allah with the wealth that Allah has given them, Allah take it bit by bit and then they become bankrupt. Those who have power but they do not thank, they are not thankful to Allah, they do not use this way to please Allah, Allah take away the power from them. You have seen in your lifetime, we have seen all these things happen. Now what is important, what we learn, when a person says he makes shukur, meaning whatever Allah given you, you thank him and in a sense then you will be patient. You may not understand why Allah make this happen to me. But Allah knows best. Maybe he wants you to learn something yeah, in life. He is educating us. So when Allah wants to educate us, He wants us to go through some hardship. So we understand what is real life. And when we understand what is real life, when people are having the same problem, we are able to help them better because we have the experience. That's why the Prophet ﷺ remind us, Al-Mu'min allazi yukhali tun nas wa yasbir ala azahim khairu min al-mu'min allazi la yukhali tun nas wa la yasbir ala azahim A true believer, a mu'min who always mix around with people and have all the patience to overcome the problem that they encounter, that he is exposed to, is always better than a mu'min who just stay away from the society, from the community, from people, and he have no patience in dealing with the problem. Now, Islam always teach us not to run away from problem because you cannot run away from problem. But Islam teaches us to confront problem. With what? With patience, with dua, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. There are many things no one can help us except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we must keep on asking Allah, Oh Allah, help me. Even you want to make zikir, can you remember brother and sister? Even you want to make, do good thing to remember Allah, you said what? The Prophet said, Allahumma inni ala zikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadah. Oh Allah, help me to remember you. We want to remember Allah, but sometimes because of problem, stress, we forget Him. So we must keep on asking, Oh Allah, help me to remember you in good time and bad time. We don't remember Allah only in bad time. When good time, we forget Him. Wa ala shukrika. Oh Allah, help me to be thankful to you. How can we show our gratitude towards Allah? When you have money, you must spend some money in the cause of Allah. That's how you show your thank, your gratitude towards Allah. When you are healthy, you use your health to serve Allah's religion. When you are strong, you help the weak one. When you have knowledge, you teach the one who have no knowledge. That's how you show your thank towards Allah. You make use of what Allah has given you 
to serve in the way of Allah, to serve people. That's why we in my country, Malaysia, we call ourselves Al Qadim, means serving mankind. We are here to serve. We train ourselves to serve people. We are prepared to serve people for the sake of Allah. We don't expect any reward from that. Allah will re- is very kind to reward you, inshallah. We want Allah's reward. Because we need His reward in the hereafter. There's no more money in the ak- akhirah. It's between you and Allah. If your good deeds, alhamdulillah, that is your wealth, that is your property. So fellow brother and sister, if you have any problem, any stress, please don't keep on entertaining the problem and forget to ask Allah to help you. Sometimes problem is ni'mah. Meaning, sometimes problem is a blessing. I give you one example. If you never fall sick, what do you understand by sickness? Now, if you don't have any headache before, if somebody has headache, how can you help him? You can't help him because you have not gone through this difficulty. But once you have gone through some experience, you know, when I have headache, I went to see a doctor, he gave me this medication. And after taking this pill, Alhamdulillah, I feel relieved. Now, if somebody had the same problem come to you, you say, no problem, brother, I know. Take this pill. This pill will help you with your headache. You have a tummy ache. If you never have tummy ache before, how can you help others? By having the experience in you, you can help others better. So everything, there is always a wisdom behind it. There is some good behind whatever trial that Allah put us in. Whatever problem you encounter, please remember, problem is wisdom. Problem is information. Problem is knowledge. You learn everything from problem. That's why the Prophet never teaches Ummah to run away from problem, but to stay foot and then ask Allah to open our heart, open our mind, to understand the problem and seek Allah's guidance to solve your problem. Your problem will be solved, brother and sister, inshallah. Financial problem, domestic problem, inshallah, solve. But come back to Allah. Why? Because Allah who created He knows our problem. And then He has ready the remedy for us, like what the Prophet said. Inna Allah nazzala dawa dawa fatadawu wa la tadawu bil haram. Example. This hadith, I'm trying to share with just an example. Allah is the one who sent down disease. All the sickness that is happening, the virus is part of Allah, sunnatullah. When Allah said, be is be. Without Allah's will, it cannot happen. But in the same time, the Prophet said, Allah prepared the remedy for you. Every sickness, there is a cure, except old age and death. So the Prophet said, فَتَدَاوُوا وَلَا تَدَاوُوا بِالْحَرْ So seek for medication. Seek for medication. But don't look for any haram way of medication. You see, MashaAllah. Oh, there is always an answer to your problem in Islam. There is nothing that you face in this world that Allah don't guide you into it. The only thing that you must come to Allah. How to do that? Listen to what Allah said. Ya ayuhallazina amanud kulu fissilmi kaffa wa la tattabi'u khutuwati shaitan innahu lakum azum mubin. What Allah want you to do is, O oh, you who believe, O oh, Muslim, enter the religion of Allah totally, completely, fully, with your heart, with your mind, with your body, everything you must submit to Allah. Don't follow the footsteps of shaitan. Shaitan is the one who play around with us. Keep us worried this, worried that, fear this, fear that, phobia this, phobia that, until we have no peace. And you must remember Allah said again, Peace belong to him. Allahumma anta salam wa minka salam fa hayyina bis salam. We say, oh Allah, you are peace. Peace belong to you. So we're going to come back to Allah, ask Allah to give us a peace. And the best way, like what Allah said, Allah bi zikrillahi tatma'inul qulub. Allah said, by remembering Allah, not only with your lips, but with your heart and your action, you have the peace of mind. You have peace of heart. 